This is a 1954 Ward de France Air Force 11A crash truck. It's the same type of truck I did my firefighting in at at Carswell Air Force Base in the early 60s. It holds 1,000 gallons of water, 100 gallons of foam that would be in a bag that would be dropped into the water when it was needed. Today's crash trucks, they mix the water and the foam at the nozzle. The turrets on this truck could shoot about 35 feet. Current trucks, crash trucks, shoot between 250 and 300 feet. This crash truck belonged to Denny Darnell. He had been restoring it for the last 15 years. He pretty well had it done except to clean it up and paint it. He passed away last year and he willed it to me. I have given it to the B-36 Peacemaker Museum. We are going to complete the restoration as Denny would wish. When the restoration is completed, it will be at the B-36 Peacemaker Museum that is part of the Fort Worth Aviation Museum in Fort Worth, Texas at Meacham Field. We'll be on display there for all the kids and adults to see what a crash truck looks like. When it is completed, I will drive it out to Carswell Air Force Base and back it into one of the crash stalls that I had backed a crash truck into over 50 years ago. It's quite a find, it's quite a gift, and I can't wait for it to be completed to show what an awesome piece of machinery this crash truck was. This is where I spent most of my time in this truck. This is the hand lineman seat. Had two hand linemen, one on each side. And your hose was right in this compartment here. You would come out of the truck, open that compartment, pull your line out, and head for the fire. This is the cab of the old 11A. You had a driver, a turret operator, and this is where your crew chief would sit. Your hand linemen were in the back. This part of the dash would be for the main engine. And this part of the dash would be for the pump engine. These are the guns that you would pull down to use the turrets. To operate it, you would just pull the gun down from the ceiling and you'd grab onto it and as where you pointed it is where the turret would go. You'd pull the little trigger, the button on the front was the trigger and when you pulled it the turret would fire the foam. And you had two turrets so you could either use one or you could use them both. I fought a case uh, TF-102 as a turret operator and I use both turrets.
This is a hatch that you could open. Rescue man would go through there. You could, for a large aircraft, B-52, something like that, you could crawl up there and do one of two things. You could operate the turret manually or it's a rescue point where you, the driver would pull the truck up to the B-52 nose, break out the windshields, and get the crew out. When I first got to the crash station, this truck had a five-man crew. After cutbacks, the turret operator was eliminated, and when the truck pulled up to the fire, the crew chief would go out with the hand lineman, and the driver would slide over and operate the turrets. This is the other side for the hand lineman. When he got to the crash or the fire, he'd open his door, go next, right to this door here, open it, and pull his hand line out. This is the hand line he'd pull out <clears throat> and head for the fire. That's about a hundred foot of hose. This is the pump engine, has two engines, the main engine to drive it, and this operates the turrets and the hand lines. It also has a CB tank for electrical fires. The truck it needs to be cleaned up, repainted inside and out, and it will be a fully functional 1955 crash truck.